Well, hello there, everybody. It's Sally here, and welcome to today's to today's Tuesday tips tips, which is made, making it by the um, skin of its teeth. Really, it's one of those days where, or in the last two hours, things keep not happening in the way they should. So I'm here, and my hopefully my phone will stay on the stand. So what I wanted to do today is to share the love. And here we're, I'm going to do a song that I've done before on Tuesday Teaching Tips, I think a couple of years ago. And it's a really good song to use for Valentine's Day. And as we all need a bit of love at the moment, and I know the kids need lots of love, they also need activities happening in their lessons, um, that I thought I'd share with you three different activities that you could do with this particular song. If you haven't guessed, the song is Love Somebody. Mm. Off I go, love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, won't say who. Love somebody, can you guess? You're the one that I love best. First activity you could do with any age, but with the younger ones in particular, is just get them to stand up and sit down on the word love. You've heard me do this before, of course, but you can do this with any song that has lovely repeated words. So they've got the word love. I'm just going to sit on the edge of my table here. So I'm going to start by sitting down and every time I sing the word love, I'm going to reverse my position. You ready to join me? Mm, be careful of the last line though. Off we go. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, won't say who. Love somebody, can't you guess? You're the one that I love best. I was being naughty there. I was anticipating my love coming in at the end. But of course, for a child, they'll have probably built in the pattern. They'll get to know it's got three loves at the beginning and then the last one, yay, does something a bit different. So you've got to be careful there. Lovely little activity to do to get them up and down, moving a bit on the piano stool. It was interesting. I was teaching a, a, a young boy yesterday. They're spending so much time online, a lot of schools, especially the private schools. I've said this before, that when they come to their lessons, they do need energised slightly so halfway through the lesson up we got and we did some some fantastic little activity and mum specifically said to me at the end he really needed that Sally so do include that sort of thing here's another activity so you might do that one first one with with younger children this one you might do with with um, uh, slightly older end of primary or something and it's a cup game that you could play and kids are really really good at coming up with cup games so I might start it off this week with some suggestions and hopefully I might say, could you take it away and do some more? So I find coloured cups work better rather than trying to describe right and left all the time, which gets confusing. So pink and blue. And I might just create a little pattern like... Um, uh, that's just my pattern. I can't obviously can't obviously do and talk at the same time. Let's see if I can do it and sing. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, won't say who. Love somebody, can you guess? You're the one that I love best. Yes. Brandy points to me. Um, and then you create your own, don't have to do that pattern, but anything that just is a bit co uh, engages the coordination, switches us on and really fun to do. So the la that was the second activity, the third activity. Um, and these are not, by the way, to do all in the same lesson. OK, so different children, different activities. I would just do one of these activities in a lesson. Last one is one to do with pitch. And um, this might be I've got my chimes here. And I was doing something similar with a child yesterday. Let me just turn the camera so you can see that. There we go. Um, with a child yesterday with a different song. But this pitch, uh, for example, love somebody, all uses do, mi, so, so, or one, three, five, five, or even C, E, G, G. So I might say to a child, just listen to my song. And I wonder if you could tell me what colour I play on the love somebody you'll hear it come back several times how many times off i go love somebody yes i do love somebody won't say who love somebody can you guess you're the one that i love best yeah and they 
they can count up and tell me which ones uh, I, were, I was playing in Love Somebody. You can then go on and do other things with the other pitch elements of the song, you know, like which one doesn't have Do Mi So So. So it's a highly patterned song, which is great because it means there are lots of opportunities to explore it creatively and work out the structure and things like that. So three activities to share a little bit of love. We had to begin with, we had just the simple standing up and sitting down, and then we had a bit of a cup game that we could do with some older children, and then we also had some chime bars if you have them, or something similar, doesn't have to be chime bars, you could even um, play it on the piano and maybe mark the keys with little stickies on different colours. So, some ideas, get those kids up, get them moving a little bit, and then they'll be really focused and they'll be loving their lessons. Okay. Hope that helps. Bye bye.